messages. Midwest puts it back inside their own 10 yard line for first and 10. There's the pitch and it's fumbled. Picks up his own fumble. Cuts it up to about an 8 yard game. Second two. Here's the pitch once again. To the skip Kirk looks like. He turns it up for about a 4 yard gain. Good enough for the first down. First and ten. Yes. There's the. Oh, what that was. Looks like just a real quick lateral pass. And it was fumbled over there and recovered by. No, it wasn't either. It's a pass completed for about a two yard gain. D uh, has decided that it's time for a timeout. We're going to have a conference. All right, Midwest with a second and eight as they come back up. There's about a minute, one minute left in the half. There's a pitch, and there's a pass deeply thrown downfield. Kind of a number 30, but quite a ways from it. Uh, incomplete, the third and eight. Had his man beat by about eight yards, but the ball had him beat by about eight yards, too. So. All right, well, we've got a third and eight as it come out. Yeah, I don't know what kind of, we got some confusion over on the far side. Line up. Greg drops back. So was a pass. Broken up. Yeah, 46, 10 for uh, Eric or Jerry, I think. Jerry. Off a good high putt in the middle. And he's coming immediately by Cliff and. Uh, God dang it, that thing took off again. And uh, Randy, you see, we've got only seconds left. And then we have first and ten for right. Seconds left. It's first and ten on the Oiler 40 yard line and rifles time. It's a beautiful afternoon for football. Temperature game time about 45 degrees. All right, this is uh, going to be a first and ten for right. There's a drop back and a swing pass on here. And he's caught by number 71. Okay, they, that should be 
eight rides to that one. Okay, we got eight seconds left. That line, I'm going to leave a wide angle on it. Because it's another, there's the pitch. And there's a pass back. Quarterback, incomplete. And that's going to be pretty close to half right there. Two seconds left. Still time for one more play. All right. This will be the final play of the half. All right, there's a deep cushion. Midwest. There's the drop back. Throws it complete. And uh, the Sunlight's a kind of an odd angle for us here, too. There's a good rip. Makes it just my color here just a little bit, too. Seems that we get a change in that. Seems that we've had a change in the light. I'm looking right into the sun. And it's uh, reflecting off the shield here. And the glass gives us kind of a weird effect. All right, we've got a first and ten on about, let's say, 50 feet. Fielding very well marked, not about the 20 yard line. And uh, Eric carries it for about, about six yards. And six
this one out. This this camera is now got them so far away that uh, on that telephoto that uh, can't even see them. Oh, here we go. Auto focus. Is screwed up. All right. No, I can zoom up closer. That, that's as good as it's going to be right now. He's probably telling you he's deaf. You can't hear the whistle. Close. 
Second quarter. Second quarter. Second quarter. Second quarter. Forced to keep it, turn up inside. Runs into linebackers. Lost it, buddy. Third punch. That was a flag, and it's out of bounds over here. On the north side. Find out what the deal was. Some idea. Our option, evidently. Evidently, they're going to back them up five yards and re kick it. Again, he scripts one. This is short. Pick up a Greg. Boy, dangerous. Get under him and let the second bounce. It'll be first and ten. Midwest on about the line. And off. And crap. That's what you what is see with those what looks like bubbles. The light is reflecting off of the window and it's focusing off of those drops of water. and 10 on the right foot section of line. Oh, 
the uh, second floor. Greg brings them up. There's the shift. They didn't adjust to it. And there is a flag. And that's going to be brought back. Start 15 yards deep, it'll be second and 20. I'm going to bring it off the line. Second and about 20. Alright, All right, we got a second and 20. We have a timeout. We need to get them straight. There's the shift. No linebacker shift. There he goes. And the option, and he does lose. Alright. Makes up about 15 of it. Third and six now as they come up the line. There's the counter, there's the flag. I think they're going to catch us for motion in the backfield. Well, this is a penalty ridden second half. Alright. Motion penalty against Midwest, backs it up five yards, we'll do it again. Third and 11. Up to the line. Greg takes a snap, gets it off on reverse. First and ten, Midwest. Just come up, up that white streak in there. Flexion off the wall. Greg hands it off. Eric, good lateral motion out there. Ball's on the wrong side, Eric. All right. He's in. Okay, it's 30 to nothing. Just a little bit less than eight minutes left. There's the kickoff. Ball is pumping around out of there and covered pretty quickly. All right, they'll take over on about their own 35. First and 10, right on their own 33 yard line. Okay, everybody's in tight. Rolls right. Out to the runner pass. Looks to run. And he's taken out of bounds after about a yard gain. Second and eight. As they come up. The man out here. And pass is off and nearly intercepted. Broken up by Skip Kirk out there. Be third and eight as they come up once again. There's a wide receiver this side. Pass is intended. He gets it off. Very high. Oh, it's the ground, and there's the auto focus goes nuts again. Middle for 
about four yards. And all that point stuff you see in there is reflection coming off of the window. We're going to call this second and a short six. There is another flag. Looks like I got the hands out in front of him. And it was evidently against uh, against right. And uh, the decline would be a first down. <laughs> We're at about the uh, 41, 40, 41 yard line. Around 40, 41. There's a pitch. And turn the corner. Oh, I'm getting a lot of pursuit for some reason. Gain of about a yard by Chavis makes it a second and nine. There's the pitch. Good cut back by Skip Kirk. All right, just turn around. Caught from behind. There's the flag. Okay. Okay. Face mask stop. Touchdown. Cost him another 15 yards. Dr. J. Says that was a bulldog in exercise. For a horny back or something, know, something like that. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a first and ten at West when, uh, when they come up with it. Be a first and ten at West on about the 11 yard line. Greg is upset. I don't know where it went. He hit it pretty good. But I didn't see did it. He carried it. Anyway. Loss of about a yard. You know why I was going to order in here. You know, it's something. <laughs> yeah, you can get back here where you get a better view. Three bodies in order to get back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third to about five. Let's break them up. Shift them in. They're not making a defensive adjustment. Right, we're going to be close to a first down here. As you can see, it's just about a foot short of a first down. So it'll be fourth and a foot. About the two yard line when they come up. Uh, uh, here we go, fourth down. Defense, offense is spread. Set. And he's in. That's a touchdown. Okay, 36 0 with about 3.40 left in the game. As Midwest comes up to the extra point.
look down the line, we see a whole new crew of numbers. Okay, all the way down. Number 60, Dave Van Arn, back to kick. And he gets a pretty good move. And he takes it. Bring it back to about the four yard line. Okay. Let's see. On that line, I think I see a Charlie Page down in there. First and ten, right. Ah. Kind of a little misdirection there and the rest of the play. Lousy kept it. Run into uh, Charlie Page and the rest of the wall. Okay, no gain. Alright, let's see who's back here. Let's see if he's going to try that quick hitter. He does, but he throws him. Oh, he throws him. That quick slant was incomplete, so it would be a third and ten. Throws him over the middle, intercepted. One. Linebacker crew pick one up. And what do we got here? Now we. First and ten Oilers. And let's see, we've got, we've got some new bodies back there. I think that's Sean up church. Eric. Jay's a quarterback. Good night. Hang on that ball. Gain of about five. The second five for Midwest to look him up. Harry Berkowitz gained about five minutes. Yeah. There's that handoff on the sixth floor. Picked up a couple more yards. We got just over a minute left to play. Be a third and two. Oh, well, Jay looked like he was trying to run the option. Fumbled it. It's picked up. Advanced by. Eighty-two. Eighty-two. Randy Euston. First and ten, Midwest on about the twelve-yard line. And J rolls left, carries it like a bread loaf, and sidesteps a couple. Still going. Finally. First down, preliminary communication was a uh, holding penalty. So it'll be about a first and 25. Tay rolls out. Throws one. Incomplete for Dustin. Second, 25. This could be the last play of the game. Somebody doesn't know what it's supposed to be. Jay, air balls one, and complete. It is complete. Good shot. That could be the ball game. Let's see what we got here. Officials clinic. Hmm. Okay, four seconds left. Jay brings him up. Hands it off to Randy Eusler, who ends up just shy of the goal line as the gun goes off. Final score in Midwest 30. 6. 36. Principal. <laughs>